Hi everyone, Comic Viewer here. This time we're reviewing on The Mitchells vs. The Machines. Now, The Mitchell vs. Machines is a 2021 computer animated science fiction comedy film that was produced by Sony Pictures Animation as well as being directed by Mike Rinana as well as being also written by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller who gave us stuff like Clone High, Cloudy with a Chance of Meeples and The Lego Movie and originally was under the original name Connected in 2020 but because of the COVID-19 pandemic it was changed to be moved to Netflix. I remember me and my sister Tilly watched it and for the most part I wanted to wait till it came out on Blu-ray or DVD which eventually did. Now, the premise of the film is meant to follow Kate Mitchell, who is this inspired, kind of young, gifted filmmaker, and is meant to live with her typical dysfunctional family, where we kind of have Rick, who's kind of the nature-obsessed, tech-phobia tech sort of father, but does have a good heart. We kind of have Linda, who does try to keep the family together, and it's kind of shown she's a bit of a approval seeker. Not a bad one, but more like one who just wants a perfect family. And you've got Aaron, the brother who's obsessed with dinosaurs. And we kind of see how Kate gets accepted to her film school. And you can kind of tell Rick's afraid that Kate is going to set herself up for a hard fall. And over the course of the film, we do kind of see how both Kate and Rick are unsure of each other. We see that they're both at each other's throat. They both aren't sure of what they really have. You can kind of tell Rick's afraid that about going into Katie's world and is just afraid of any repercussions. And you can kind of tell Katie just wants her father's approval and it's kind of clear she feels like she's got the approval from the people who've seen her potential. So, of course, we do see how Rick decides to go on a long road trip to Kate's film school. And, of course, we do see how they do try to bond like a family. And at one point, we also do see, see how, how the PAL company decides to, to launch their next product until the phone that one of the guys is using ends up creating a sort of techno uprising, leaving the Mitchells to go on a one-man mission to stop the machines. And I think the premise of the film has a bit of a message. It doesn't matter if your family's dysfunctional, if you come from a broken background, or if you can't always go the distance. Family is what always matters. And I think for the most part, when you do see Rick and Katie trying to get to know each other, you can kind of tell they do have some common interests and do realise more about themselves than they do. You can kind of tell Kate starts to realise more about Rick's past and her realising that Rick does care about her but is just afraid of going into her world. And when Rick does see Katie's world, he starts to see the potential she does have as a filmmaker and does see that Katie does have some good ideas. I think the point of POW, in my opinion, is meant to be a counterpart to Katie. Well, Katie does kind of push Rick away at times, but does realise her mistakes. POW is meant to be the opposite. She's meant to be arrogant, selfish, hypocritical, and doesn't really question her actions. We do see how Rick and even Katie do question if what they do is for the right reasons. And I think for the most part, I would say the Mitchells do work like a typical dysfunctional family. They are going to be at each other's throats. They are going to not really be up to the test, but they do prove themselves that they do have what it takes. And this does remind me a bit of So and Andre in Miraculous Ladybug. You can tell they both do things to do things for their family's approval, but when we do see them seeing each other's potential, this is a moment where we see father, I mean, stepfather and stepdaughter getting to know each other. 
as I feel the point of Zoe was meant to be similar to Katie. They both want to be accepted and approved. While Katie did slowly get the approval she wants, Zoe actually does get it by realising her mistakes and questioning her actions. I think for the most part, I do think what, what they get right at is showing the typical road trip shenanigans, like eating at a crappy restaurant, going through large traffics, and also dealing with, with mishaps on the way of the road. And I think, for me at least, Mitchells vs. Machines works as a film, because the Mitchells are similar to The Simpsons. You've got the Posies, who are maybe a counterpart to the Mitchells, almost similar to the Flanders. And I think the film definitely deserves two thumbs ups. Still good, and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.